In 1999, Kevin and Keith Hansen, brothers and Detroit specialty running shop owners, watched another uneventful performance by the Americans at the World Championships. Remembering the heyday of American long distance running when such greats as Jim Ryan and Frank Shorter captivated the hearts of America, the brothers decided enough was enough. They needed to do something about it. They purchased a house that summer and started an Olympic development team with just three guys. Now the team of 23 athletes has changed the face of American marathoning. We started basically to try to develop distance runners so that the Americans were competitive on a world stage. Basically the Hanson philosophy with Keith and Kevin is, is just uh, consistent group training makes you better. I tried to do it on my own uh, the summer after my, my senior year of college and it was just impossible trying to run 100 to 150 miles a week on your own. Uh, it just, it just kind of went crazy after a while, so uh, having a team really helps. The group makes everybody stronger. Um, I know for, for me, being one of the older guys, or the oldest guy on the team, a lot of days uh, I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling like, uh, you know, like I'm up to, up to running hard, and if the group's there, I just kind of force myself to go with them and, and be part of the group. The group training is really the, the key or the main focus of this program. If there's a breakthrough performance for one guy in the group. Everyone else says, you know what, I train with that guy every day. I walk in the same steps, I train on the same ground. If, if he did it, I can do it. Most programs in the United States don't have that sort of a, of a team environment. It's something they do in Kenya, they do that in Ethiopia, they do that in Japan. It was happening in the 70s, but it kind of got lost and we've, one of the goals here was for us to get that back and we believe that's a a major component to being successful at the international level, running together as a group and pushing each other and helping each other. The brothers own three houses, two for the guys and one for the girls, where the athletes can live rent free. They're also provided optional employment at the four Hanson running stores. We run every single morning and go home, grab some breakfast and get to work. The best part is the flexible hours and it's nice dealing with the running community and you're dealing with people who are high level athletes themselves all the way to someone who wants to start walking at a very basic level of fitness. We're proud of the fact that through our running shops that we're able to tie the running community in with our elite runners. They know who our elite runners are and as a result they're bigger fans of the sport. It's not just us being somebody who shows up to a race. We actually have an identity then, and we get to know some of the people in the community as well through working in the store. If we work that day or that afternoon, then get off work and go for a second run. Along with these flexible work schedules and support from sponsors like Brooks and Saturn, the athletes are given the opportunity to train the dream full time. I consider Brooks more to be a partner than anything else because Brooks is in it for the exact same reasons as we are. And the women's program was able to start because Brooks was there to say, hey, we want to do this and we think we can do something with it. And without Brooks, we wouldn't have been able to even start a women's program. We've seen a, a lot of changes. Uh, the team's grown exponentially. We started with three guys and now we're up around 15 men and we added the women's program, so now we've got half a dozen women on the team. It's better than college in the sense that there's more people my set pace. Usually women end up training with men, and it's just a different relationship, so coming here and training with women, we can be supportive of each other in different ways. The program saw two of its runners finish fourth and fifth at the 2004 Olympic trials, and have since watched athletes dominate major marathons. In 2006, after the men had seven of the top 22 finishers in the Boston Marathon, led by Brian Sell in fourth place, Saturn joined Brooks as a major sponsor. We travel in style now. We have a, a bus that's given to us by Saturn. Yeah, it's nice to roll around like a rock star every once in a while. We get a lot more respect where we go, and a lot of people seem to know who we are now. If I had to say anything to a prospective athlete, it would be never, ever doubt anything that goes on here, because what we're doing is history in the making. You know, we're affecting the, the, uh, the status of history of American distance running. You come here and join this group with these, these training partners that you'll have, you are going to get much, much better. And that will, will raise the bar of uh, American distance running. Set in history.
We're meeting, for those that didn't get the memo, at Waddles, and the bus is pulling out at <laughs> 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so the bus will be there. We'll